shows a square of side length 10 cm. So this is 10 and this also 10. A quarter circle of radius 10 cm is drawn from each vertex of the square. What is the meaning of a quarter circle? This is a circle. One quarter of a circle means this is one quarter. So I have four quarter, right? So one quarter. Where is this in the diagram? So the first quarter that I am seeing is this part here. Agree? Okay, now. So they are telling you are actually drawing from each of these vertex. Where is vertex? This part here. The corner part is known as the vertex. Find the exact area of the shaded region. <coughs> See, when the question started, the question is actually giving you a hint by asking you to emphasize on the quarter circle. When I look at this quarter circle, I realize uh, this chapter is actually talking about circular measure where they want me to do area of sector, area of segment, yeah, these things. Uh, this one should be your helping guide. What is area of sector? Half r square theta. What is area of segment? Half r square theta minus sin theta. So using this, we will try to solve this. So in your mind, you need to look for the sector and segment. Uh, these are some thought process. And you should know that the theta is actually in radian. <laughs> Never write it in degree. Must be converted into radian. Now, how do we want to find? Uh, so when I look at this, I know the area of sector is what? Let's find the area of sector. Let's find whatever you know. Half, tan square and your theta. What is this angle here? 90 degrees. So it's pi over 2. Okay, done. Do I know the area of circle? Yes. I mean uh, area of the square. Sorry. Do I know the area of the square? Yes, it's going to be tan square. 10 times 10, you know it's 100. This is 25 pi. <clears throat> now, what I can do? I need to look for more sector or segment here. Okay, let's go and find where is the segment. Where is the segment within the one quarter, within this particular quarter? Can you find any segment? So you can tell me that, ah, miss, there is a segment here. This is one segment. But finding this will never help me to find the area. <clears throat> okay. So I need to look for some other segment here. Do I have any other segment? <clears throat> Do I have? I'm not seeing. So how? How is my thought process? Because I'm not seeing, I actually saw another one. There is a point here, point here and another point here, right? I can actually make a triangle like this. And now I'm asking myself, what is the length of this part? Then, okay, perfect, easy. And then from here, it is actually touching the circumference. So what is the length of this? It's going to be 10, nice. Same thing here, from the vertex, it's touching the circumference along this line. So this is also going to be 10. So I know this, this and this, they are the same. Everything is 10, 10 and 10, right? If it is 10, what is the angle here? What is this angle? What is this angle? What is this angle? It's going to be 60 degree. Now, this is the magic moment. You see here, just now we were looking for a segment, right? Actually, there is a segment here. Can you see this is a segment? And the same segment exists here. So, let's get the thought process. I know area of the triangle okay as usual guys go and find area of the triangle how to find the area of triangle half times base times height but now i know that this is 60 degree i know the length of this and this i'm just going to do half a b sine c sine theta put your eye here 
put your eye here and then look at the triangle this way so it is half 10 times 10 10 squared and then sine uh, what is your theta make sure this in radian all the time you will get pi over uh, 3 okay type this in the calculator you will get an answer okay so far good let's go and find the area of the segment what is the area of segment half r squared radius theta pi over 3 minus sine pi over 3 again your eye is here yeah make sure you know from where to see this is the segment i'm actually finding for my area of segment here is actually this part here okay okay done you get an answer here now <clears throat> Still, my point is on the red color quarter circle. I hope you are seeing. Yeah, still, we are still playing in this ground here. We are not going anywhere. We are just playing around here. Now, what I know? I know this. Good. I know area of segment and I know this one. What I cannot find now? What I don't know? I have this sector. Beautiful. I have the square. I am not using this so far. I have the triangle and then I have the segment, this part and this part here. Okay, I know this one and this one. So what is the beautiful part you are seeing? Looks like you can actually find this area. You can actually find this area. So what are you trying to tell me, miss? Okay, let's see. Yeah? I'm going to draw it for you. It looks like a what? this portion here okay this is what we are aiming why am i aiming here before you go into that let's find the value of that portion what is the area of this uh, shapes portion okay this one is exactly this part here okay so what will you do area of sector 25 pi minus the triangle minus the segment Okay, take this answer, take this answer minus. Okay, let's just type it for a while. You also solve in the calculator. This one is 25, so 3. This one is 9.05861. Okay, you minus all that. Take all this. So what are, what are we taking now? We are taking this minus this one and this one. That's giving you one segment. Remember, you have to take this multiply by two because you have two segment. And my final answer is going to be not yet final but that arc that yellow shape so you're getting 17.12133 okay keep this why am i telling you this let's draw it here yeah see the first part that you are seeing it's here okay let me draw draw all the sector one that is from here then the other one if i draw from here i'm getting this one if i draw from here this part if i draw from here this one so let's highlight the arc like shape so the first one that you got is here and then the second similar to that it's actually this one okay there is also another one which is lying here and then there is this portion here all of these so look at the shape this one isn't it exactly equals to this one here that's it this is the light bulb moment you take the area of square you minus 4 of the arc like 
the x like shape this shape here u minus 4 of this square is 100 minus 4 times 17.1213 you will get 